Hi guys, um, long time no see. I uh, just thought I'd put together a video telling you about, um, I find quite an amusing thing that happened to me a few weeks ago. Um, I was, I received a letter from O2. I'd had a dispute with them over a, an amount I owed. Uh, but it wasn't from them, it was from a, a bailey firm purporting to have come from Lincoln County Court. Um, what had happened is they'd got hold of all the headings and everything, um, sent this this letter and then signed it, the bailiff, not even a name. So I tried to ring them, I could get through. So I emailed them and I said to them, OK, so since what form of judicial system lets a bailiff go through court and sign his own paperwork? I also pointed out that the County Courts Act 1982 says that for it to have gone through County Court, it has to have certain criteria. It has to have a sworn affidavit, a fee schedule, a proof of payment, and a stamp, a court stamp. Not one that's photocopied off the internet, but a court stamp. Um, also, the judge will put his signature and then he or her signature and then they will print it underneath so you are legally allowed then to know who has made the decision and I also emailed them and said I assume that you have all this paperwork and you will forward it to me because the act also says that if you purport to come or send mail from a court that isn't from a court i.e. committing fraud then the jail sentence is up to 10 years. So I, I put it in a, a manner where I said to them, I hope, I trust the course that you haven't committed fraud and you do have all these paperwork and you will forward it to me and we will be able to settle the matter legally. Um, surprisingly enough, I got no reply. Um... So I forwarded it on to the county court and left it for them to sort out. Do they know that bailiffs are using their headings and using that to try and threaten people? When you get paperwork, just read what it says. Yeah, If it's signed, if it's a county court thing signed by a bailiff and it just says a bailiff, he's used a Microsoft uh, font to sign it. It's not worth taking to the toilet and using, honestly. Question them about it. The thing is about this, question them. But as I've always said, if, you, if you're if you not brave enough or no contact is no contract. People always say to me, well, it won't go away if you don't pay. I've had two bills that have been zeroed now simply because I've not contacted them and um, they've give up trying to contact me. Don't forget the uh, statute barred rule. After six years, apart from things like council tax, but after six years, debts become statute barred, which means they cannot legally go through a court to get your money back. They can ask you for it, but there's no um, backup for them at all. Yeah, just a few little tips, but this letter really did, and I wish I'd saved it now, put it in paperwork, and I would have shown it you. We could have all had a... A laugh at it. It, it. it started with something like. This has gone far enough. Okay. And then purported to go down. You owe us this. We've been through county court. And we're going to sign the bailiff. No. Sorry. Doesn't wash with me. So anyway. If you get anything like that. And you're brave enough to do it. Email them. Say to them. I presume you have all the necessary paperwork. Uh, to say you've been through court. And I presume. You don't mind photocopying it or sending me an image so I know. There's no court system in, in this country that allows a bailiff to run his own court. Yeah. So do not be afraid. No contact is no contract. Yeah. You can, if you like, stand, sit, stand at the door arguing with them. Like you see on YouTube. Um, I just wave at them because they can't get in my house. They're not allowed in. I just wave at them. I'll carry on doing what I'm doing. Okay, guys. Stay safe.
don't get caught out. And uh, I'll see you on the other side. Bye.